Um, all right, George, last chance, brother. You got your mic mic together? Where you at? Uh, is that for me, George? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Your family made it yeah, over. What's okay. good? Um, I, I really wanted to touch on uh, the issue of uh, um, the political power in the black community. And I had pointed out it, uh, hey brother, we're gonna we're gonna we're, 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 we kind of moved on a little bit, so we're just gonna uh, we're talking about relationships with black men right now. We can probably circle back around to that, but I want to stay on that. Well, topic. We we can talk about the black relationships, and we can say for a fact that um, there's so much traffic noise on your end. All right there, you go. How about now? Is that better? I'm in. The, I'm right. So we we can say for a fact. And, and this is going to rub everybody the wrong way, intentionally, that where the white men left off diminishing and, and humiliating the black man, he gave the mantle to the black woman. Where are you from, brother? Let me ask you something. Where, what part of the world are you in right now? Austin, Texas. Okay. Can you talk a little bit about what, what you... Can you clarify that a little bit more? Because I want to get your full experience before I start. Go ahead. All right. So, um, I'm guessing everybody here is familiar with uh, back breaking during the slavery days. This is where any black man that showed any characteristics of masculinity, of leadership, of being a man in the family, was humiliated by the white slave owner. And they did so by frogging him in front of uh, the, whole, the whole group, the whole community, in front of women, in front of children. And uh, a white man would come and, and, and um, humiliate him by sodomizing him. That's what it was called backbreaking. And that, in essence would shame him in front of the women, in front of his own people, that you ain't shit. And now, move forward, the person who is doing that to the strongest of the black man is not a white man, is not a slave owner, it's the black woman. Those words, you ain't shit, are often, ex on almost exclusively, mentioned by the black woman to their own black man. So we are now in a situation where every culture, every, um, every ethnic group can claim to have their women in check except for the black man. Now, when you say in check, we need, we need to clarify this now. When you, what do you define in check for me? What does that mean to you? If we can use this term loosely, we can say the white women belong to their white men. The Asian girls belong to their Asian boys. Uh, the Latinos, the Latina girls belong to their Latinos. But black men cannot say that about their own women. We have been completely been overwhelmed by this self-destruction nature in our own communities, and we don't have any reins of our women. They have taken over, they have destroyed our men, and in essence, they are raising children by themselves, which in effect of that is they are weakening the communities, they are weakening the society, because children raised by women have that feminine nature, and oftentimes, they, the women, imprint their destructive evil nature in their children, especially sons. Bro. <laughs> Brother, can I say something really quick? Bro? Um, I understand. What, I, I, I get what you're saying to a point, but I do have to push back, brother. I was trying to go along with whatever point you were trying to make, but I do want to, I, I got to say this. Everything that you're describing is a byproduct of white supremacy and the practice of white supremacy. There is a lot of truth in the things you're saying, but I think you're going off on a tangent a little bit. And, I'm, and just bear with me and let me explain what I mean. Almost from the time from the, of the Middle Passage, black people have been brutalized, humiliated, and violated. 
black women were brutalized and raped on those boats coming across on the middle passage and if you look at the if you read the slave narratives they're horrific what you what happened to black men on these shores is true too there were a lot of rapes of black males there was a lot of humiliation of black males there was a lot of brutality we know that but i think what you're talking about is something that's tied into domination and it's also tied into psychological destruction i don't necessarily believe that because a black woman may have some of these negative connotations or so these negative attitudes about black men that that's something inherently wrong with black women you're dealing with somebody who's a victim of brainwashing just like you have some black men who do that now that's not discounting what you're saying because there are black people there are black women who work in academia and who work in positions of power who have issues with black men that's true but you also have black men who feel the same way the bottom line is we are all very broken and because we are, don't want to deal with that brokenness and we don't want to deal with that pain we translate that into how we raise our children we translate it into how we interact with each other so i don't want to just say that and I, I don't want to say that this is all at the fault of black women and i don't want, i also want to make clear that your statement about other groups of men having their women in check is not true they may not do it on the surface but i can assure you other women push back against their men just as much as some black men push against the black men they just do it inside we do it in the street that's the only difference and your conversation about black women but about white white men having white women that's not necessarily true brother white women belong to everybody and i'll leave that where it is so um, if, wanna... if we if we go if we go to the to the success of the civil rights movement until that period of time the black man's family was intact and that's why i had posted uh the success story of uh, an alabama sheriff who was overwhelmingly voted and stayed as a sheriff for 20 years and he started at the age of 33 and i had said in my post that that was the momentum that the black people needed to build on to take over and reclaim that which they were fighting for <coughs> in the civil movements. But we see the relaxation of that in the 80s and the 90s of the Clinton, where now the black woman was infiltrated by the system and was told, if you want something for free, then you have to kick out this guy from the house. If you want free food, if you want free housing, then the man cannot be in the house. But and that's not necessarily that true, brother. That's not necessarily true. Hold on, I got to push back. I, I got to push back on that. That's not necessarily true. What happened was, after Johnson signed the um, policy called the War on Poverty, a lot of people who started moving into black neighborhoods and started implementing these policies were coming at that from a white supremacist perspective, where it was the idea in America is that if you have a man, then your man should be the provider of everything that you do and you don't need any kind of assistance. But what that did, though, and what they did not take into account was the fact that the average black man did not have the resources and definitely didn't have the money to be able to support a family. So using that metric to say that if you have a man that you don't need resource and you don't need government assistance, that's what kept that going. And yes, a lot of women um, basically adopted, adapted to that or adopted it. But it wasn't through any fault of their own outside of the fact that they were forced into a corner where they didn't have a choice. So that's where that came from. But I just want to be clear. I don't want to make this into a conversation about blaming one side or the other. I just want to talk about how the situation got to where it is and how can we remedy it. And I really want to hear from some sisters. I see some of y'all in here. Some of y'all might be mad, but I really want to hear what you have to say because I think we have to have this be, um, we have to have the voices of black women and black men on this particular subject. So please raise your hand. I will give you equal time. You can speak. But I want to get into that. Mary, you have the mic. I think um, what happens to women is we appreciate that good man who brings home his check. But we also would like a man who respects and shows us love. And um, this is 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 a, a hard issue for black men, I think, because they've been crushed and and um, and uh, thrown down and uh, stepped on for for so long that it's hard for them to um, feel that 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 pride and ownership. 
And I do agree with George a little bit because you do own your family, not in that you own them as slaves or you own your woman as a slave, but you own your family as um, someone who is providing a, um, a strong environment, um, someone who is um, able to sit down and discuss things with his wife and then make decisions concerning those things. I do want a really strong black man. I think this is important, but I don't want one who's not going to respect me also. I think that's what the problem is a lot, but the white man has caused this problem. He has, um, since slavery, separated us as much as they could. They don't want us to be strong and um, have a lot of family ties. And economically, they have done everything they can to, um, to crush this. I think Black men today are trying to come back. Black women are trying to come back. What we need to do is, and I've always said this, between um, couples, the biggest thing is that ends up being a problem is communication. We have to be able to sit and talk with each other. Love making and um, more intimate things are important also, but being able to sit and talk to each other and um together fight against all these negative things that are being thrown at you is 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 what works okay that's what i had to say